Hi, my name is Nargis. In this video, I'm going to show you how to display multiple locations on a map. As you may guess from the title, to make this video, I was inspired by Booking.com. Let's take a look at uh, Booking.com, the search result page. Here there is a button. If I click on it, a, a pop-up will be opened. And you can see the locations of the places. If I hover on any of them, you can see the information of that place. And if I click on it, it will uh, redirect me to a single detailed page. Let's back to our code. Here is a script uh, that I had used to deploy a map on a web page. I had explained it in more detail in my previous videos. You can uh, check it if you need to. And uh, for displaying multiple locations, first I define a new variable and name it locations. The locations is an array of objects. Each object contains the information of a single place. For example, the latitude, the longitude, title, source of image and URL. For example, google.com. And it's just a sample. You can add or remove any information that you want to show on your real project. And uh, for speeding up, I already have prepared for objects for this uh, array. The next step is adding marker for each location. And for uh, looping through this array, I use for each method. As you may know, the for each method uh, executes a provided a function once for each element. I replace the array with my variable name and instantiating the marker class. element dot lat and element dot long and add to map object that I have defined it before here. Let's see the result and you can see the markers. Now it's time to adding the event for displaying information. So here I use mouse over for uh, displaying the information. Then user hover the marker. Uh, I use even the target for targeting the uh, related marker and bind pop up and some content and open pop up or open the bound pop up. And I use mouse out for hiding the information. pop up okay yes. okay let's check it out I made a mistake here okay now I if I hover on any marker you can see the content and I think that close button is useless so I prefer to remove it so I 
create another variable and name it pop up uh, up um, pop up option and set the close button to false and add it after the content and now as you can see the close button has removed and now I want to replace this text with some HTML I use a div for holding the tags and add a card class and an image for displaying image and a heading tag and here the image tag I add some attributes with AT and height AT and the alt attribute here is the element dot src I use the title for the alt attribute and use the same for the title and now we're done now you can see the information of each place is displaying and I have added some style for the information and the last step is adding the click event I use window.open for this purpose and the element.url okay okay you can see the information is displaying if I hover on it it will redirect me to a, a new tab a new page and um, as you can see everything works great and we're done as always thanks for watching and if you have any question feel free to ask